In today's lecture class, let us try to understand the Protista, another kingdom proposed by Vitekar. We know five kingdoms, Monira, Protista, Plant Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Mycetae, Fungal Kingdom. Now in this class, we try to understand what are the characteristic features of the Protista what are the different groups and what are their characteristic features. Protista or unicellular eukaryotes. Unicellular eukaryotes. Remember, this is the main difference between Monera and uh, Protista. Monera or prokaryotic, these are eukaryotic. All other organisms are eukaryotic possess well organized nucleus true nucleus means a nucleus with nuclear membrane nucleoplasm nucleolus chromatin network like that. cell wall present in some absent in others just like slime molds body organization cellular a definite cell structure is there mostly aquatic possess flagella or cilia locomotory organs or sometimes non-motile mode of nutrition may be phototrophic that is autotrophic or heterotrophs in heterotrophs we find parasitic forms probably ancestors of present day plant day, plants, fungi and animalia. Major groups of protista. Protista members are further differentiated into five groups. Chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, Euglenoids, slime molds, protozoans. Again, chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, protozoans. Five groups. But there is no resemblance between these groups. In character wise, their one is different from other. But why are they included in protista? Because of some features, eukaryotic, microscopic, unicellular. Five. Chrysophytes, this group includes diatoms, decimates. These two are called golden fungi. Earlier they were studied in Holgi Bacillarophyceae. Found in fresh water, marine water, oceanic water, microscopic. They form plankton. What is plankton? Microscopic forms floating on the surface of water are called planktons. They float on the surface of the water, either actively or passively. Photosynthetic, chief producers in oceans, though they are microscopic when they grow extensively, they cover the sea surface, oceanic surfaces. They are the chief producers for all the living organisms living inside the sea oceans. Diatom's cell wall forms two thin overlapping shells like soap box. One above the other, the cell wall forms two things. One upper part, lower part, the upper part overlaps the lower part, just like a soap box. Cell wall is heavily deposited with the silica. The cell wall is formed first, then silica is deposited. The, because of the silica, it becomes hard, it becomes a indestructible form diatomaceous earth. Suppose when the diatoms grow very extensively, die, 
and they form large masses inside the sea that is called diatomaceous earth. And this diatomaceous earth is useful for us in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups, insulation, abrasive paints, varnishes and it is also used in dynamites. Dinoflagellates are mostly marine and photosynthetic unicellular. Appear in different colors. Why? Because of the different types of pigments present in them. Cell wall has a stiff cellulose plates on the cells. Stiff cellulose plates, but in chrysophytes, silicaceous material. Most of them have two flagella, biflagellates. Red dinoflagellates, for example, gonialix. This, there is a red pigment inside it. When it grows very extensively, the water appears red. And when in oceans, sometimes it so grows so extensively, the sea tides, the oceanic tides coming will be red in color. That called red tides because of this organism, because of the red pigment. The importance of red tides is the organisms growing extensively release some toxins. They are called generally phycotoxins. These phycotoxins are poisonous to the oceanic animals. Sometimes all the fish, all the animals will be killed when the red tides come, depending upon the intensity of the red tide and duration of the red tide. Then euglenoids live in fresh and stagnant water, like ponds and ditches. Cells enclosed by flexible protonaceous pellicle, protonaceous pellicle, flexible, two flagella, one long, one short, by flagellate. Chromatophores, chlorophyll pigments are present in chromatophores. Higher plants, chloroplasts, here chromatophores. Similar chlorophyll pigments are similar to higher plants, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B. Photosynthetic, autotrophic, in absence, they become heterotrophic. Suppose when the light is avail not available under dark conditions, they resort to heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Best example, euglena. representative of protists. So these are diatoms. You can see the soap boss like structure, upper epitheca, hypotheca, navicula, cyclotella. These are desmid, a typical desmid, cosmerium. This is dinoflagellate, euglena, paramecium. Slime molds, slime, gum-like. Formerly, earlier they were included in myxomycetes of fungi. You find if you take out the old books of fungi, mycology, the description of the slime molds you will find in the first few chapters. Fungus-like organisms. Very important, interesting feature is they show the characteristics of fungi as well as protozoa. Fungi, protozoa, form the spores with cell wall. But in vegetative state, they are just like protozoa, without cell wall, with pseudopodia, polozoic nutrition. Grow in moist places, saprophytic on dead materials. Assimilative phase without cell wall, just like amoeba, no cell wall. Holozoic nutrition, engulfing, 
under unfavorable conditions form aggregation called plasmodium very big structures small amoeba like structures form, come and fuse with each other they form extensive plasmodium sometimes people are scared to see such things they think that they are the extraterrestrial things under unfavorable conditions produce sporangia and spores spores are dry resistant and closed by cell wall this is fungal feature examples echinostelium physarium protozoans in zoology in zoology textbooks still you find them description you will find in the first chapter or heterotrophic all are heterotrophic some are parasitic some are predators they live on other living things predators means living on other things primitive relatives of animals now these are protozoa are differentiated well differentiated into four classes four groups based on locomotory organs whether present or not if present what are the locomotory organs amoeboid locomotory organs are pseudopodia false feet flagellated with flagella locomotory organs are flagella ciliated cilia and in some protozoans there is uh, there are no locomotory organs they are sporozoans in parasitic forms remember locomotory organs will be absent amoeboid flagellated ciliated and sporozoans so these are different forms of protozoans amoeboid protozoans will live in fresh marine waters moist soils locomotory organs pseudopodia they just like amoeba nutrition polozoic engulfing through pseudopodia marine forms have silica shells silica is deposited over the body on the surface for example foraminiferans radiolarians entamoeba histolytica causes amoebic dysentery in man types of pseudopodia here in amoeba lobopodia blunt euglypha pilopodia elphidium reticulopodia then in actinophrys centra this uh, axopodia flagellated protozoans free living or parasitic Fly free living means they live on their own parasitic forms cause disease Trypanosoma gambiens causes African sleeping sickness. Leishmania donovani, Kalajar disease. This is a typical Euglena. Different structures: pellicle, flagellum, small flagellum, then chromatophores, myonemes, then here. this uh, cytostome all these structures are there then this is a uh, trypanosoma gambiens blood parasite this is uh, entamoeba histolytica sporozoans 
all our parasites, endoparasites live within the cells. Intracellular. Lopomotory organs absent. No cilia, no flagella, no pseudo. A general thing is all parasitic forms are non motile without locomotory organs. Nutrition parasitic, absorptive, or phagotrophic body covered with elastic pellicle. Contractile vacuoles are absent. I want to mention one common thing. Contractile vacuoles are present in freshwater forms which grow in freshwater. They are generally absent in marine forms in parasitic forms. Try to remember this point. Asexual reproduction occurs through multiple fusion. Sexual reproduction takes place through syngamy, union of male and female gametes that is called syngamy. Life cycle consists of two distinct asexual and sexual phases. Asexual cycle, sexual cycle alternate with each other. The life cycle may be completed in one host, monogenetic or it may be completed in two hosts, digenetic, for example, malarial parasite, plasmodium, completes its asexual cycle in human beings, sexual cycle in mosquito, it is digenetic. Example, sporozoans, plasmodium, monocystis, this is parasite in earthworms, imeria. Ciliated protozoans, most ciliates are free living fresh water very few are parasitic locomotory organs are cilia this is important feature body is covered by pellicle nutrition holozoic engulfing except in parasitic forms Ciliates show an interesting phenomenon, very interesting, almost in the plant kingdom or in nuclei or dimorphic. The cells consist of two nuclei, macronucleus, micronucleus. Macro controls the metabolic functions. Micronucleus controls the reproduction and hereditary characters two types of nuclei. They have contractile vacuoles for osmoregulation in freshwater forms as I told you. Asexual reproduction takes place by transverse binary fission or budding, cyst formation under unfavorable condition. Sexual reproduction is by means of conjugation. This is another important characteristic features of hope. Ciliated protozoans, ciliophora, class ciliophora. This is a beautiful paramecium, slipper and manicure, slipper shaped, anterior, posterior, vestibule, oropharynx, cytostome, then contracted vacuoles here, here, mac macronucleus, micronucleus. This is Bellantidium poli. This is uh, the end of chapter protista, protista unicellular microscopic eukaryotic. They are divided into five chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, protozoans. Again, Chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, protozoans. In next class, we will take up the fungal kingdom characteristics classification.